Hey everybody, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Easy P3 Pro. This was sent out to me by Easy Tattoo Supply, so big thanks to them for sending this out for a review. But as always, I will be giving you my honest opinion about my experience with this machine. If you did wanna pick one of these up, you can go to easytattoosupply.com and use my code Tyler Nicholas to save yourself some money. Speaking of money, let's start out with price. There are two different pricing tiers with this machine. The first one, you get the machine and one battery, and that is for $249 or you can get the second bundle and that one you get the machine and two batteries for $319. If I was buying this machine, I would definitely opt for the package with the two different batteries because I have the one with the one battery and it is quite frustrating when this one dies and you don't have a backup. My first impression when I was unboxing this machine is why is there only one battery? Uh, but I was happy to see that there is a charging cable and a charging block included. So that is a nice touch because usually there's only a charging cable and not a block. It made me even more happy when I turned on the battery for the first time and saw that there is a Hertz readout along with the volts readout. A lot of people will comment on my videos and ask me what the best voltage is for lining or what the best voltage is for shading. And I'm not able to give you a specific straightforward answer unless we're using the same machine. Voltage varies from machine to machine, but if we're using a Hertz readout, I can tell you I'm using 90 Hertz and you can take that and plug it into whatever power supply you're using and whatever machine you're using and our machine speeds will match up. Moving on to some specs. There are four different colors that you can get this machine in. The P3 Pro is an adjustable stroke machine just by twisting the middle wheel. It has a 2, 2.4, 2.8, 3.3, 3.7, .3, and a 4.2 millimeter stroke option. One thing that I did notice while using this machine is that the stroke wheel is very easy to move. If you don't grab this collar while you're changing the needle depth, you will end up changing your stroke instead of your needle depth. The other highlight features without getting too nerdy on you are there are tactile buttons on the side of this battery which are easy to press when the machine is wrapped. I much prefer these over a touchscreen battery. There's a built-in timer for artists that charge by the hour. It also has push mode for cartridges that have tougher membranes. To turn this on, you hold down the up and down buttons at the same time. They also have Bluetooth that connects to an app in your phone, which I honestly did not use because I'm just not interested in an app that connects to my tattoo machine, but it might be cool. On the website, they claim that this battery will last right around four and a half hours on a full charge, and that's right around what I got out of it, usually around four and a half to five and a half hours, depending on how I was tattooing. When it comes to noise and vibration, this machine is incredible incredibly quiet and also very low vibration. I'm gonna turn this on without a cartridge and show you what it sounds like. That's directly next to the microphone. Probably can't hear that at all because I could barely hear it. Uh, now I'll put a cartridge in and even with the cartridge, very, very quiet, very low vibration. That's at a 2.4 stroke. Let's see if that changes at all. If we go to 4.2, not really. Usually at this point in the review, I'll talk about if it's better with battery power or an RCA connection, but I can't do that with this machine because it is strictly battery power. There's no uh, adapter for me to put on an RCA connection onto this, which is disappointing, just because then you don't have any option if you wanna use a power supply. So I'd like to see that in the next version, but it's not a deal breaker. I like the way that the P3 Pro is balanced and the way that it feels in my hand. The grip is slightly tapered, which is nice because then it'll kind of reduce fatigue a little bit and you you don't have to wrap your grip as many times with grip tape. It's super easy to bag up this machine, basically like every other pen machine on the market. I'll just toss the whole thing down a clipcord cover, stretch the cover over the tip and secure it by wrapping the grip tape around the grip. And then I'll rubber band shut the back end and pop a hole where the cartridge will go. It's a really straightforward and easy machine to clean. It has a really smooth body with not too many dirt traps, but you do have to still be careful while you're handling your cartridges so you don't contaminate the inside of the machine because it's not really simple to just take apart and clean. Now, what everybody wants to know, is it good for lining? Is it good for shading? What style is it best for? And should you buy this machine? Let's start out, is it good for lining? At the 4.2 millimeter stroke, it's a decently hard hitting machine, but at the same time, I wouldn't really go above a seven liner if you want it to be any type of efficient. This isn't a dedicated liner machine. This is an all arounder machine. So if you're looking for a liner for big groupings, I'd look elsewhere. But if you're just looking for something for like seven liners and smaller, this will do the job. Next, is it good for shading? 
Shading and color packing is really where the P3 Pro did its best for me. I was able to use small groupings all the way up to the biggest groupings that I'm using right now. I think it's like a 27 mag and I was using it on someone's stomach slash ribs. So on that looser skin, I was still able to move quickly and efficiently. I was able to get full saturation and it was smooth. I wasn't uh, struggling to get the ink in. I think this machine is best suited for people that do a lot of black and gray or color packing. Maybe people that do a lot of walk-ins that aren't requiring to use really thick liners. Um, this is a decent all-arounder machine. It's definitely something that I've enjoyed using. For 250, 300 bucks, this is not a bad buy for your money. I haven't had any mechanical issues with it just yet. I have only used it for a few months, so I can't speak for how it'll perform after a year or two or if it'll even last that long. Um, so, you know, go into it knowing that, but in my experience, I have enjoyed it. So if you wanna see me review any other machines, let me know down in the comments. If not, I hope this video was helpful to you, and I'll let you have a good day.